days, when we didn't know what moisturizer were, we thought that was the best way we could moisturize. It's not the best way. It's a pretty lame way to moisturize, but it will give you a little bit of uh, a soothing. It will have a soothing quality, and sometimes dry skin can be irritating. So it's not very good for, as a moisturizer, but as far as, moisturi- as far as moisturizers go, it's probably one of the better ones to use, even though you're not going to get any permanent long-term effects. Essential fatty acids taken internally, now that's a whole different ball game. That's how you really want to moisturize your skin. Anyway, we'll talk about that on another, t- on another day. How good is coconut oil for acne? It's not. It doesn't do anything for acne. Uh, it will, uh, there's a little bit of vitamin E in there, as I say, and vitamin E can have some anti-inflammatory effects. You might get some benefits that way, but it's not really going to help your acne. Ingested, it might do a little bit of good, a little bit better, uh, and, and uh, you'll get some internal vitamin E, and that might be helpful. And then as far as uh, Doc Wallach's take on coconut oil, I, I don't know if Dr. Wallach actually said that about coconut oil. I know he, he and a lot of other folks who I respect say uh, uh, advise not to use unsaturated liquid oils because they're very unstable. We've talked about this in the past. Coconut oil is a very, very stable oil. In fact, that's the one oil that you do want to cook with along with butter uh, because of its stability. Uh, you can pour it on top of food uh, when you're eating. That's absolutely true. You can do something called oil pulling also, which I'll be talking about here hopefully in, in the coming weeks. Oil pulling is when you swish coconut oil in your mouth and it pulls out some of the fat-soluble toxins. It can help clear your breath and uh, supposedly anyway, it can help improve gum disease. That's called oil pulling. Coconut oil is awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. Now, I, knew, I do know that uh, there's some folks who believe that you shouldn't use oil, including Dr. Wallach, but I don't think he's uh, including coconut oil in that list. If he is, I would have to respectfully disagree, and I do sometimes disagree with Dr. Wallach. By the way, I'm reading his new book now, Epigenetics. Awesome book. Absolutely wonderful. It's kind of a walk through health history, if you will, from, from the days of the ancient Egyptians and, and, and even from caveman days all the way up to modern times. It's a really wonderful, easy to read book. It's got tons of great information. It's almost like a compilation of a lot of his books, and uh, you, can, you can purchase it off of my website, brightsideben.com, and I highly encourage that you do. He's got, Dr. Wallach is just an absolute brilliant, brilliant, brilliant man. And even though I don't agree with everything that he says, I have learned quite a bit uh, of nutritional strategies and nutritional ideas from Doc Wallach. I've been reading and studying his stuff for many years. Okay. 855-660-4261 is our call-in number. Let's go to Washington and welcome Mitch to the bright side. What is up, Mitch? How you doing? Hey. How you doing, man? Hey, my wife has got... uh, um, Sever, let's see if I can say this right. Seborrhea dermatitis. Seborrhea dermatitis. Yes. There you go. Yes. She's Can't she's making a lot of sebum. She's making a lot of oil, and she's got a rash. That's that's Latin talk. That's fancy doctor talk. Uh, doctor talk to disempower average people to make average people think they don't know what they're doing, and they got to depend on the doctor. That's just my take on it. That's why lawyers and that's why doctors have all those fancy words. Seborrhea dermatitis just means you got a she's got a rash with a bunch of oil. Correct. Okay. So two years are me trying to tell her what I think you would have suggest. What did you say? I just, I'm just well, curious. Basically, I, I, I tried to get her to uh, increase her vitamin E and vitamin A and take the healthy starter pack and stay off of wheat. And okay. she hasn't done much of that except for recently she stayed off the wheat. And she knows anything? And, and she's starting to see a little bit of improvement. Okay, that's but good. It's gotten so bad. It's gotten so bad. She, her dermatitis, or her her. Uh, the brilliant dermatologist probably is going to put her on a steroid drug, correct? Yeah, that's exactly what she did, and it did yeah. help. What did she put her on? What did they put her on? Prednisone. Uh, that sounds. I can't okay. remember. Well, in any case, it, that's just going to make me mad. I don't want to even think about that. Listen, <laughs> here's here's the deal. Whenever you have oily skin, you have. Uh, something that's burdening the body. Oily skin is how the body responds to stress. When the body is stressed, there's all kinds of generic kinds of things that will happen. There's generic responses to stress, and that stress can be from a, a saber-toothed tiger, probably not likely. That stress can be from your boss, more likely, or the IRS, or the New World Order, or a dysfunctional family, or nutritional deficiencies, or eating the wrong foods, or heart disease, or any other kind of disease. All of these can put stresses on the body. The body has a generic response to stresses that include hypertension, that that include insomnia, that include infertility, that include acne and skin problems, that include hyperpigmentation or darkening. These are all generic responses to stress, whether the stress is a lion about to eat you or whether it's the New World Order. Whatever that stress is, you're going to have the same kind of responses, hypertension, insomnia, infertility, skin problems, hyperpigmentation.
irritation, uh, hair loss, uh, fatigue. Oh, there's zillions of these generic symptoms. This is one of the key hallmark uh, pillars, f- philosophical pillars of the bright side. The body has a generic way of responding to stresses, no matter what those stresses are, and there's no diseases, there's no bodily dysfunction without some stressor, which means if you're sick or you're not looking as good as you should or you got any kind of health condition, the first thing you need to do is figure out what that stressor is. Usually you're going to find it involves some kind of food, and so you're on the right track with wheat, and if you've noticed results just by eliminating wheat, think of what will happen when you eliminate the oats and when you eliminate the the, uh, corn and when you eliminate the rice and the pasta and the potatoes and all the other more than likely food problems that we have or that your wife has. So that's number one, eliminating problem foods. Fluctuations in blood sugar are the second major stressor on the body. That means eating more protein, reducing any kinds of foods that spike her blood sugar. Uh, by the way, sugar is a really fast way to get oily skin. Eating a lot of sugar is a really fast way to get oily skin because of how burdensome that is on the body. So that alone will make a huge difference. More protein, less sugar. Using sugar metabolizing nutrients like the chromium and vanadium that you get from sweeties. We talked about niacin. That can be very helpful. And also niacin has some nice skin benefits too. Uh, using time-release niacin, around 200 milligrams a day, continuing on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine as well. The dermatitis is a rash. A rash is a sign of an activated immune system. So once again, we've got some kind of defensive response. Eliminating those stressors that are initiating the defensive response is job number one. And there's a couple other things you could do directly for the dermatitis. So hang tight, Mitch. We'll finish up when we come back from our break. If you're on hold, we'll get to you as well. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. Many Americans suffer from digestive problems, often totally unaware they're not absorbing essential nutrients from foods and supplements. Dr. Peter Glidden is aware of the importance of healing a damaged digestive system. Now, the product that I'm going to talk about today, Mackey Plus, and it is a combination of a superfruit, the Mackey berry, and aloe vera juice. Now, aloe vera is a very interesting nutritional supplement to talk about because aloe vera, you know, it's the stuff that you put on your skin if you get a burn. And, man, it really knocks down the pain, the inflammation of the burn, and facilitates healing. Well, guess what? It does the same thing internally that it does externally to burns. To soothe and heal your digestive system, order Mackey Plus today by calling 855-347-3696. That's 855-347-3696. Or on the web at fireyourmdnow.com. That's fireyourmdnow.com. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curb appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. We live in a complicated society. Stressful issues are always popping up. Have you ever been treated unfairly by someone? Have you ever been overcharged for a repair? Have you ever signed a contract or a document worried about identity theft? How many times have you been in those unique situations where you just wanted to call an attorney to find out if you're right or wrong or what your legal rights are? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what do you think about first? That's right. Who do you call and how much will it cost? Our friends at Legal Shield have found a solution. 
With a nationwide network of 6,900 attorneys who average 19 years of experience, Legal Shield's law firms take over 40,000 calls per week helping their members. For less than $20 per month, you can have access to Legal Shield on everything from the trivial to the traumatic. Let Legal Shield stand up for your rights at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Or call 855-340-SAVE, 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. It's hard to imagine when things are going reasonably well, just how quickly things can change. But what would it take? Economic collapse? Massive crop failure? Chemical or biological attack? So many situations could find you in the grocery looking to pick up food for your family only to find that the shelves are empty. There's nothing. Don't let that happen. Act today to make sure that if it ever comes to that, you and your family will be provided for. Visit FreezeDryGuy.com to look at the wide variety of survival foods available. Freeze-dried foods from the Freeze-Dry Guy store longer, rehydrate faster, are nutritionally superior to, and taste better than any other long-term storage food available. Visit FreezeDryGuy.com or call toll-free 866 404 FreezeDryGuy.com We are America's largest independently owned communications network. GCN all right, we're back on the bright side. Mitch in Washington. I'm going to go real fast, Mitch, um, without your wife, because I want to get to all, finish up all our calls. Got a bunch of people holding, okay? So, sorry, I don't mean to be rude here. I'm just going to go real fast, all right? Seborrhea, number one, that's oil production. Lots of oil. Skin oils are called sebum. You want to crank, uh, you want to make sure that you're getting, uh, if you got that oil coming out, no matter what it is, if you have oily skin, you want to consider it a sign of an activated stress response. That means removing the stressor. The two most likely stressors are going to be food, so control, uh, link uh, foods to digestive distress, if she has diarrhea, constipation, any kind of digestive symptoms, heartburn, uh, cramping, whatever, those are, uh, link those up to foods, and those are foods that need to be eliminated. Uh, then there's nutrients that can help uh, with, the, with the skin, niacin, vitamin B3 is very important. One of my favorite excess oil supplements is pantothenic acid, vitamin B5. You do need to take some high doses of it, but it's extremely effective. Vitamin B5 is involved in fat metabolism, how the body processes fats, and oily skin is a fatty issue. Uh, vitamin B5 is also very important for making fat hormones, steroid hormones, I should say. So if you have any hormone issues, estrogen or testosterone or DHEA or any of these, uh, any steroid hormone issues, you're not making hormones. If you have a libido problem and if you have oily skin, vitamin B5, pantothenic acid along with your niacin. You do need to take maybe three or four grams of it a day. That's quite a bit. So go get some 500 milligram capsules and take, I have your wife take maybe six a day, three, uh, three in the morning, three at night kind of thing, or two, three times a day. And then make sure you're taking all your bees with the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. So if you're going to be doing the time to release niacin and the Panto, the vitamin B5, make sure you're doing it with your Beyond Tangy Tangerine so you get the full spectrum of B-complex vitamins. Vitamin E might be helpful, 400 international units a day of vitamin E. And vitamin A is always good for all skin health issues, uh, and that would be 20,000 international units of vitamin A. The dermatitis is a rash. Rash is an immune system reaction. That means it's uh, one of the ways the body's responding to some kind of stress that's getting in. Again, a stressor. Eliminate those stressors, most especially digestive stressors. And all the nutrients I just told you for oily skin can help with dermatitis, especially niacin. Do you know niacin deficiency can cause dermatitis? It's one of the, um, one of the classic signs of vitamin B3 niacin deficiency. So get on that niacin. Topically, you can use uh, pantothenic acid topically. You can make yourself a little cream by breaking open a capsule and dissolving the powder in the cream and applying the cream to your skin. You can also uh, use zinc oxide. That will help dry up some of those oils and might also calm the skin down. If worse comes to worse and you really, really need some dramatic help, don't use steroids, but you can use something called uh, a Benadryl cream. Or you can actually use Benacort cream, which has a little steroid in it, hydrocortisone cream. And that's just for emergencies if the Dermatitis gets really, really bad. But personally, I would be focusing on stressors that are getting into the body, eliminating problem foods. Last but most certainly not least, for all skin conditions, think Nightly Essence, Biolumin Nightly Essence, which is bacteria good bacteria, probiotics for the gut that can help not only uh, protect, uh, protect the immune system, support the immune system, but also, of course, can help the digestive system if you're having problems processing foods. Does that help you, Mitch? 
Oh, yeah, thanks a lot. That's, that's exactly what I think she'll need. Good deal. Thanks so much for your call. Appreciate it. I wish we had more time to chat, but I want to move on and talk to Luigi in Florida. Welcome to the Bright Side, Luigi. What's going on? Hi, I have a friend um, whose daughter uh, has a autoimmune disease. Okay. And um, we're pretty sure that it's lupus. Okay. So Let's talk I about lupus. Let yeah, me talk I've about lupus for a little bit. Yeah, I've done some. I've done some research that you did, I guess. Okay. And 